Welcome back to Expresso Live on SABC3 on this beautiful Friday morning. Time to get into your youth sports. Before we preview some big weekend rugby matches, a big congratulations must be expressed to the under-19 cricket side on reaching the quarterfinals of the under-19 World Cup. Our young cricketers dominated their Group D to finish on top of their league undefeated. Some ruthless batting, some disciplined bowling have been the cornerstone of their impressive performance so far. Let's get behind the lads to bring home the title. Now we've got some derby games coming up this weekend as the rugby season draws to a fantastic climax. What a season we've been treated to. Let's get our heads into the game. After a quiet week away from the school sport fields, due to the crazy weather across the country, we welcome back the juggernauts of schoolboy rugby in the final few weeks before the end of the season. In the Eastern Cape, Daniel Pinar hosts Otaniqua on Saturday in their final home game of the season. Meanwhile, Cambridge takes on Hudson Park in another closing clash. The sides down in the south continue to do battle in a series of triple crown matches between the usual suspects, Bishops, Rondebosch, Sachs and Weinberg. We'll be watching those very closely. Now for our featured battles of the weekend. Queens and Dale College meet one last time this season in a classic clash and final encounter of the season. Both teams have defeated rivals from East London this season and have had great records respectively this year. The two teams have been evenly matched since their first meeting way back in 1891, with Queen's having won two more matches at 77 wins to Dale's 75. The Weird Expresso think that Dale might just stretch that to 76 this year with only one loss all season. They've definitely been one of the best teams in the region this year. On to one of the biggest rugby matches of the entire year. The culmination of blood, sweat and tears. Yes, it's Grey Bloom versus Polrus Gymnasium. We caught up with coach Tay Stoltz a few weeks back to see if even then they were thinking about this massive fixture. For every schoolboy leaving school at grade 12 at Polrus, you know, Grey is, is something quite significant, being the last game, etc. So I'll be lying if I'm, if I'm saying we're not, you know, looking towards that game. But we've got three games before that, um, which we want to use to to make sure that we are well prepared to go into that game. Once the coach had told us how the boys feel about the encounter, star fullback Jason Worrell made sure that we did not leave disillusioned at the magnitude of the clash at hand. Uh, no, that's, that's something so when you get into school in grade eight, the, the emphasis on playing first team rugby and that on the last game against Graeblum is, is uh, a huge thing for, for poor Ursa. We've just got to work through every game this se for the rest of the season and try and do our best and work to, to that great bloom game because I mean that's that's a huge opportunity and playing up there is just a, brings a big, bigger emphasis on the win. Since the turn of the century Paul Roos has only won three matches in a college dominated encounter and with Tay Stoltz's men having already lost a whopping six matches to Gray's three this season we're not sure much is going to change but like we always say here on Expresso Youth this is a derby and anything goes on the day. All we know is that this is going to be one for the history books.